For this video, I will show you guys how I made Ino Yamanaka from Naruto using Apple White. So for Ino, you guys actually can just really use the Apple, um, the Royal Apple, what was it? The Royal... It was Apple White with her Royal gown, pretty much. You can actually just use that and, you know, make a costume and make, you know, put her hair in a ponytail with bangs and that's pretty much it. But I like to repaint their faces and make it a little more anime inspired. So obviously I'm gonna repaint her face. For Ino's eyes, she actually does not have a pupil in the anime. So I'm not gonna add a pupil. And if I will, I'm just gonna make it a very, like a darker color of the actual eye color, which is like turquoise or blue. Um, but I just know that people don't like it as much because when I did Madeline Hatter's eyes It was pretty much like that where I didn't really put a black pupil in the center and people were like freaking out um, I like the look and you know, it's close to it's pretty much accurate to Eno and I want to do that So let's go ahead and start with the repaint So first I'm gonna go ahead and take acetone or nail polish remover to remove her face Next, I'm going to go ahead and take Mr. Super Clear or MSC to prime her face. After that, I'm just going to go ahead and take watercolor pencils, chalk pastels, and brushes to do her face. So this is how her face looks and I am in love with the outcome. It looks so dolly, it looks so cool and so cute. It looks very close to her eye, her eyes in the anime. And so I'm gonna keep it. For her hair, because Apple White, her part is over here, um, we have to make, we have to force a bangs on her. So I separated this part over here. I want to go ahead and get the whole hair style like you know out of the way. Her hairstyle is literally just a ponytail but you know it's a cute like not non-messy ponytail so we still need to kind of play around with her hair. And then later we can just cut her bangs. Um, but we'll keep it like this for now. For Eno's ponytail, her ponytail is really long. It reaches her butt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two ponytails. And one will be hiding so that it will, st it will still reach her butt over here. Um, but it's kind of like a half up, half down. So I'm going to separate, you know, two of them. So this is how she looks, um, this is her ponytail and as you guys can see it's so long. Um, it looks better obviously like this and then you can just cover it um, if you're posing it. I think I'm gonna put product and hairspray later to kind of like fade it all together. But 
overall this is how it looks and it's pretty long it touches her butt and yeah I'm gonna move on from from the banks for now and we're gonna work on her costume so Eno just wears pretty much anything purple. So I have this skirt, I believe, from Raven Queen and Dexter Charming's um, date night pack or something. And I think Raven Queen was wearing this, if I am correct. So I'm going to use this for sure, and I'm just going to add two slits to make it open um, for Eno. And then for her top, I think I'm going to make it, unfortunately. This surprisingly matches the fabric blazer that I have lying around to make pillows. And I'm just gonna come up with something and maybe hot glue or sew it together. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do this. I was gonna use this one and paint it, but I literally do not have the same exact purple that I have for the skirt, so I'm not even gonna bother. So I pretty much just cut this piece from the fabric and it's a basic shape. It's pretty much a really, really long rectangle with a cut off pyramid triangle on top. Um, and then over here I'm going to reline it with her choker. But for this, I want it to be really skin tight so I'm actually gluing it on the doll. Um, but there's one technique so that we don't da damage the actual doll. And that is to glue it on the fabric first, let it dry for a little bit, and then stick it on. I'm gonna put some over here underneath and around it, just a really thin layer. Blow on it a little bit, and then stick it. Like I said, for her neck, because Eno looks like she has a choker, I'm just gonna add another piece of fabric, um, kind of like this, to tie everything together like this. And then later on we can just paint buttons and stuff on the actual fabric. For her skirt, I actually didn't notice that there's something inside it, which is like a black mini skirt. So I just have this black fabric that I'm gonna glue inside the actual skirt. Um, but I'm, make, I'm gonna make it a little shorter. So it's gonna be like that. So let's just go ahead and glue this together. Have to, you know, do the accessories, which is her. She has like nets on her knees and her elbows. So I decided I'll just use the, you know, shower loofah um, in black. Same, same, the same one that I used for Koan's skirt. So I have like a bunch over here, which I think is enough. So I'm looking at the net and I do not like it. It looks very cheap and it's not up to my standards. So I'm just gonna use an actual um, um, nylon from one of the girls. I have no idea who this is. And I can actually use the entire thing a little like easily. Um, because Eno actually does have shorts underneath this so I can just put that in. And then I'll just use this and over here for her knees as well. So I think it'll be easier. I'm just gonna go cut this and spread it apart and sew it back um, on her. And I also added trim to each um, side just to give it a little more of a clean look. And that's how it looks in the anime anyway. Um, so she just, I just added like black tablecloth material. I just glued it on. Be careful with the glue, it does melt plastic. Um, so there's that. The next really, the next part we have to do is the shoes. So for her shoes, they wear the ninja sandals and you know, the ever after high feet are, they have heels. I figured I'm just gonna use Blondie Lux's, um shoes from her throne coming because it kind of looks like the actual ninja sandals because it shows off the toes and it is kind of like a ankle boot and obviously I'm just gonna repaint everything black. So 
I just finished with Eno's shoes, and as you guys can see, it looks pretty good. Um, I didn't add any detail, it's literally just black because her sandals are just black in the anime. Um, she's pretty much complete. Her natural part is over here, so this one won't really stick together, which I have no idea why. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put gel over here, so this would close down. I'm going to use the scissors and I'll just cut it like this. And that's pretty much it.